<laughs> oh, man. All right, you're out of there. <laughs> oh. Toy Pony here, and we're going to be playing Black Saga Storm, kind of a stock list, basically, nothing changing from the main deck. Playing the three Chrome Mocks, playing the six Bobbles, playing the ten Discard. Uh, in the sideboard, I've gone up to a second Surge node to see if additional Chalice uh, removal is worth it. Map and Shadow Spear thus far has proven to be the best plan uh, against Tempo. We're still exploring other ideas, but... Today I just want to try, you know, what I think would be the best list going as of right now. And then kind of in a flex slot that may change in the future if we do find something better against Tempo. Or otherwise, you could even play a third Surge node. I've been toying with that idea. Um, but Echo. Very good for a, a number of reasons. Just powerful card. Allows us to potentially go uh, on low resources. We're not totally out of it if we've lost our ad nauseum engine or tendrils win con uh, we can shuffle those back in and helps with burning wish openers as well helps us prevent from getting this card stuck in our hand and uh yeah so we're gonna jump into a league see you there okay round one against high people 351 we've won the die roll we have we have a hand I think there's a few too many baubles in that hand for me. Okay, this one's a little better. Hmm. It's bottom Infernal Tutor. Could bottom a land, but then all it takes is a single wasteland from the opponent, and we're in trouble. Fire off a Thoughtseize. There's that wasteland. Alright. Take the force. Probably get wastelanded. Just gonna play a Darcy. Alright. I'm not going to play around days. That was a terrible draw. Here comes the brainstorm. Mill of Ponder. Underground Sea. So that they can ponder Mill Sanctuary. Still not wastelanding. No shuffle. And get in for one. Saga is pretty good. But it gets wastelanded. I mean, they gotta have a force of will at this point. Or at the very least, the days. There's the waste. Another ponder. Severon's ransom. That's a good one. We can draw a discard spell. We're in there. It's Cabal Therapy. We have to. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Just forgetting about the wasteland for a second. But the saga might be able to do some work now. Oh, so you have three, four, five, six. We can play around days, but not double days, not force. I think I still wait. If they don't have a second wasteland, this saga is going to beat them up alone. Oh, maybe not with flip Darcy's. They found it. All right, well, two, four, five. Well, now we just have to go for it. Unlikely to get there, but not much of a choice. Sure. Okay, Shadow Spear and Map. Trim. Bobble. Let's go. Okay. Yes, I would. Wow. I'm going to keep this, but it is awkward. So you do have to get rid of this Tendrils. Somehow. Somehow, some way. Somehow. 
see. Ponder. And draw. Duress is good. So is Nazis. Hmm. And duress. Yeah, sure. Let's draw lines of diamond. Can we please draw lines of diamond? All right. Hmm. I'm okay with waiting. Wasteland would be bad. You could ritual thought seize tendrils there. Then we have lethal the following turn. If we don't get disrupted, but they do have seven cards in hand. Now they have a flip delver. We know they have a meltdown. Darcy. There we go. Okay. Nice. Looks like we might be in. Nice. We take the force well. Now, do, the, do we have lethal? We could have like a tendrils and a burning wish tendrils line. That costs 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12 mana. 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. So we are one shy. 6, 7, 8, 12. That is unfortunate. Uh, we do have enough for peer. But then both of our win cons are gone. So we do have to... We do have to add Nas. Add Nas from 14. Can we tendrils first? 6 plus 5 is 11. Yeah, that's probably the play, huh? Let's tendrils first. Two, four, seven. Wow. It's pretty cool. Get him with the tendies. Six drills. And add nods from 24. <laughs> I think we can make it. Looking decent so far. Oh, yeah. All right, you're dead. All your base are belong to us. Lay these out. Make red. Go get another tendies. All right. Okay. On the draw. Pretty much want to run it back. Maybe I don't want three crumb mocks. Mitigate meltdown punishment. Wow. So turn one protected. Decent. Although they're probably going to counter the ritual. I'd really like to draw Chromox, Petal, or even just the Swamp. They mold a five. So now they might be a little more judicious about their Force of Well. I only have three cards. All right. Here goes nothing. Let it go. Oh, let it go. Come on, bro! They got me. They only have one card. If it's not Wasteland, we probably got them. Because this will wind up being two mana. And we'll probably draw into another mana. Chromox is perfect. Now, let's imprint. Imprint IT, play Wishclaw. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we still have protected. I have a meltdown. Okay. So you get to hit my chrome mox. So we no longer have it protected. We will have to run to a daze even. Unless, of course, we draw mana. <laughs> Almost mana. Okay. I don't think we wait. Dark ritual. Activate. Dark ritual. Add nos. Nice. Ooh, we hit another dark ritual. Uh oh. Alright, pedal. LED. Bobble. LED. Pushclaw. Opal. Duress. Opal. IT. IT. Not gonna repeat. Let's play Bobble. Pedal. Bobble. Opal. Black. Opal. City. You're dead. We got him. On to the next round. Okay, round two against Palindromic Time. And I'll keep this. 
So we're going to bobble. We're going to take a peek. We're going to see a swamp. We're going to dress. Okay. The Bowmaster. Thoughtseize. I guess I take Thoughtseize. All right. Probably play Delta and Pass, right? And Bobble. Draw. Ancient Tomb. Wishclaw. Not bad draws. They have double snuff out. Double snuff out. I mean, we do work against that by just copying Saga and going double Saga. I'm going to do that. Buckle up. We are in it for the long haul. They didn't brainstorm. They're probably just going to play Swamp and hold up Bowmaster. Or just play it now. Sure. Probably going to force the Wish Claw. So let's play Saga. Play Wish Claw. Force pitching brainstorm. We got double snuff out plus two unknown. I think we're ahead. Not like, you know, by a wide margin, but I think we're ahead. On average. Not a bad draw. Hmm. We could copy again. We don't really have a great play otherwise. The awkward thing is we can't copy it and play Saga and still make a thing. I have to play Ancient Tomb, delay Sagas a bit. Yeah, I think I'm down for it. I want to overcome these snuff outs. Um, is it play Opal? So these are two twos, and then we can block. I think they're gonna have a really hard time with this many sagas. If they have wasteland, they need to draw wasteland like now to have a chance. I think. Really care about that burning wish. We're gonna attack. We're gonna make a thing. They're gonna snuff it out. Sure. And no Death Shadows either. That's also good for us. Let's make a thing. And I think... Just want Bobble. Play Saga. Mm, I didn't want Bobble. That's okay. We're unlikely to use whatever the artifact is anyways. But probably should have gotten LED just to make Tutors more lethal. Yep, there's another one. We have three cards. Do you have a Death Shadow? No Death Shadow. They can't cast Snuff Out anymore. They could have Petty Theft, which still isn't enough. We got more Sagas coming. Um, one, two, three. These will play out the Chrome Box. Don't want it to get discarded. I just want these tokens to be as big as possible. Very grave tapped. Not attacking. That's right. Get wrecked. Drawing Opal's not great. Make a thing. And LED. Uh, sure. Reserve my life total. Attack with an 8 8. What? Why? 
Why wouldn't you block with this one? They're trying to get us to use Bobble. I don't get it. Again, mate. Yeah, that's not going to get there. Alright, they're off it. That was a lot of large constructs. Let's go Shadow Spear, map, bubble. Bubble. Well, let's go. Ah, uh, I guess I keep this. It's got a couple of basics. It's not bad. I don't love having this in my opener. But I wouldn't mind this hand on six. Sure. So I'm sure they take Wish Claw. That sees is interesting. Okay. And daze it. Sure. Oh, maybe I should cast a rest. So that this one can take a bowmaster. It reanimates though. Tough to say. Going down to nine already. That's one thing about this matchup is they just go so low that a lot of times you just hit them with the mini tendies and they're done. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Duress. Nice wasteland. I will take the force and I will walk into daze if they really want to daze a shadow sphere. Nope. Okay, Wasteland, that's pretty good. I'm gonna hold it. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have just played the Wishclaw. It's unlikely to matter. I'm probably gonna have some time here, but it could matter. That's a good one. Let's play this one out. That's fine. Okay. We're getting there. Powder keg. Hmm. We can add notice through a daze. Oh, we have perfect information. So as long as they let this one go, we're in it. Yeah, I'm gonna tap it. <laughs> Good try. Yep. There's the daze. Okay. Not looking fantastic. Can always pass if we have to. There's no four drop. There's no three drop even. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah. No repeat. Bobble. Chromebox. Imprint. Cabal therapy. Pedal. Ritual. Ritual city. LED ritual bobble the rest take a snuff out the rest take a snuff out <laughs> kissed burning wish and tendies got him got him got him nice all right they're dead we are 2-0, defeating Tempo twice in a row. See in round three. Okay, round three. We're 2-0 against High Tart. Hmm. Sand is dicey. It's a Saga hand with explosive mana. I'm not just going to blind name Cabal Therapy, so it's going to open on Saga, and then it'll move into Tomb, and then a turn three, double Cabal Therapy. Yeah, I'll keep it. 
It's a little bit risky, but I'd say on average I'm probably less willing to mulligan with this deck than I've seen or heard most discussing. <clears throat> I mean, there is a high power level that you can mulligan to, but I, it doesn't... It's it's not like the Epic Gamble where you just have LED Echo and you have, like, Ancient Team Grid. LED Echo is a four-card protected win hand. It's, um... I think it's, a, especially when we're relying upon discard, mulligans can be kind of damaging. All right. We're not dead. <laughs> we want to see Opal or Chromox. Duress. Hmm. Marsh Flats. If it's Reanimator, we're, we're in trouble. And I'm going to wish I Vault Ritual Duress about Therapy. But... There's a lot of just, like, Esper, Bowmaster crap. Okay, no Entomb. No Entomb. We didn't get Wastelanded to start. We're not dead. I feel like we're actually pretty lucky to have gotten to where we are right now. Scrubland, Underground Sea. Him Katurok, okay. I'm not, like, that concerned about that. I didn't, I mean, come on. I guess that's not the worst. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about Ancient Tomb. I didn't want to see Vault go, but I think we're in okay shape. Glad to see it's a fair deck. Although if it were unfair, I wouldn't mind untapping on turn three, but if it were unfair, we wouldn't be untapping turn three, I don't think. Okay, Infernal Two is pretty darn good. Two, three, four, five, six, nine, eight. So you can just get we can get Chrome. Well, I guess we don't have to get Chrome Mox. We can get Mox Opal. Right, let's get Mox Opal. Let's cast Dark Ritual. And we just have triple discard into. Okay. See? Just Esper Bowmaster crap. And Soren's Ransom. Okay, we could go. Um, 36. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Adnaz. Here we go. That knows one floating. We do have a land drop. Ritual's good. I like all these zeros. Oh. Just want to see an LED. One, two, four, five, six, eight, and a wish claw. Right, they are dead. Oh, and they're super dead. Alright, it's good enough. Right, this one. Ritual, ritual. Let's play city. Right, wish claw. Battle. Chromox, imprint, activate bobble, take a peek. Troll is in there. Good to know. Well, that's duress, why not? Take the thing. Copy an LED. Let's play them LEDs. Let's thought seize. Let's cast Infernal Tutor. And we'll just kill him. We'll just kill him. How's that? They're at 19, so I went for 19. Is that how it works? 19 life points, 19 storm? Well, it did kill them, so I'm going to say that was the correct play. Okay, Esper stuff. I saw Snappy. I'm not convinced Surgical is what we want. Do we want to spend time killing Bowmaster? The problem is Merktide. So I'd rather do my thing. I'll play these, though. They do have Pending. They probably have Swords. I wonder if they're not even playing Wasteland. It's a possibility, or that they're not playing four. Trim and Trim. Let's go. Oh, I should have trimmed a Chrome Mox. All right, this is a turn one. We just need to find some permission. Or some sort of alternative threat. Uh, we do have a 20% chance to draw... Uh, when I say permission, I mean Disruption. Another IT. Let's play Vault and pass. Now if we do draw a discard spell, we can make two of them. Or if we draw a Wishclaw, we can go copy Wishclaw, play a Wishclaw. If we draw a Saga, we can copy a Saga, play Saga. Multiple ITs are awkward, but sometimes they pay, they pay off. Discard. Thank you. It's nine... Eight, six, huh. It's a tough call. 
They have discard, which makes things a little more complicated. But we do have lethal. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eight. We don't have enough to double Cabal Therapy into Tendrils. We do have enough to single Cabal Therapy, copy another thing, but I feel like they're probably going to have more than just um, Force of Will. This is a very tough call. I think I'm going to pass. I don't care about Bowmaster. I'm insulated against Thoughtseize a little bit. Same thing with him to Turok, although they can't him yet. Yeah, they're just holding up some interaction. Another land gives us one more mana. Two, four, five, six, nine. Land is really not what we wanted. We wanted, like, pretty much any spell. Uh, let's play it and pass. I don't feel good about this. I feel like we were really far ahead. Until we drew a blank. Now we're probably closer to even. Serenity. Okay, so that's going to put the pressure on. Can I get a draw? Burning Wish. Hmm. Burning Wish. That one's a little bit awkward, too. Jeez. Let's go for it. French Infernal Tutor. Copy. Get another one. One, two, three. Not enough to do that. Let's cast about therapy. Let's just name for us a well. Alright, they got one of those and they got one of those. Now we play Opal. Make sure this one resolves. Let's play Burning Wish. We're actually in trouble if they uh if they just let everything go. Because I'm one shy of being able to discard at the end into this echo. But they might just force this. Although, then we're screwed too. We're actually just one shy of really being able to do anything. Double forces is uh, is definitely rough. So we go vault this, we play, we crack, and then uh, then they force it. Yeah, I'm just going to go to game three. I won't even show it to them. They're not going to not, you know... They're not going to force Infernal Tutor. Hmm. And let's run it back. Yeah, we drew pretty poorly. Like, we had a hand that was set up to do some things. Yeah, I'm down. I think I start with Duress. So we're probably going turn one Saga. So we can get that shit going before they get set up. And I'm not going to bobble beforehand because we're going to be playing our entire hand. Play around discard. Well, therapy is double discard in the long run, but I really can't afford to just whiff. And this is the card that I was basically looking to take. This one's annoying too, but... Gotta take Serenity. We saw two of them last time. Shadow Spear, can't imagine they're going to counter that one. And we'll go bobble. And very fast Saga here. Fast and large. we got one covered, though. But we can get a map and keep it rolling. I'm not even sure that I want to bobble, because this is what I'm doing. And it just opens me up to discard. I think that's true. But if I draw, if I draw like, exactly discard and opal, I'm going to wish I used it. It's pretty unlikely. Yeah, I'm not going to bobble yet. I guess it's dodging, um, what's it called? Bowmaster as well. Didn't think of that. All right. Let's make some, some ginormous constructs. Oh, we should have brought in, uh, Haywire Might. That's, that's pretty good at dealing with Serenity. Uh, okay, now I think it's a lot more feasible that we use the bobble draw. If they got a bowmaster, they got me. Dark ritual. Hmm. Make a thing. Map. I don't have enough. Ritual lets me play Saga this turn. And make a thing. 
like off of map, and we can equip. That's crazy. Very powerful. We'll pull and get in. Serenity is still terrifying, but we're closing in quickly. There's really not much else that can deal with this. I guess if they just one for one both of these, that'll give them time to figure it out. But it's all off of one saga. Like both these constructs, the and this saga is just from the one saga. So they've already used one card, and we still have token plus a saga. Attempting to grind them out. They have two unknowns. One to make a thing. Swamp equip. So I don't have to play tomb. Let's equip. See if we can get in. Um, I'm trying to think if the extra point of damage is worth it. What could we be walking into? I don't think they're really going to have sweepers except for Serenity, which is going to take a turn. I guess we walk into double Prismatic Ending, but that's not going to happen. Hitting for 7 puts them to 5. Fetching puts them to 4. I suppose that could matter with, like, a Tendrils. I feel like we're supposed to make this, and I think it's unlikely to matter either way. I think most likely they scoop right now. Okay. Now you can make a Murktide. It'll be a 5-5. Five five. So they have to chump. Uh, they might not even have enough jumping power. Oh. Oh my god. I called it. Double Prismatic Ending. Oh no, they're putting it on top for next turn. Okay. That makes us smaller, though. Pretty sure they're dead. So we make 6, 7, 8, 4. They're just dead on board. Okay. Okie dokie. Make a thing. Get another thing. Equip this thing. And get in. Oh, they might have snuff out. Nope. Exactly dead. 42 to 0. Crushed him. <laughs> Alright, we're 3 0. See in round 4. Okay, round 4. We are 3 0. We have won the die roll. Uh, pretty sure this is a lands expert who has been championing. Um, main deck spheres in lands, so I don't like that. However, this hand is reasonable. So I do like that. Okay. It's unfortunate that we probably have to discard turn one. Well, let's hope they don't have a wasteland. If I knew we weren't getting sphered, I would just play a turn one wishclaw. It's still tempting, but sphere is just too scary. Yep. Okay. So, pretty much have to hit Needle, too, which means I have to imprint Infernal Tutor. Yeah. It's a very good hand from them, but Double Discard is also quite powerful. I mean, there's a lot of problematic draws coming out of them. Hmm. Tomb is actually quite good. So... I'd say Beseju is probably the scariest thing. Or Sphere is, but... They're playing the Mox. Taiga Taiga, Caracas. So they have one unknown. That's actually not a bad draw. Now we're not going to get hit by it. Oof. Alright. Let's go for it. Soul lands are pretty good, huh? We have no land drop. There's an Opal. We have Opal, we have Ritual. Chrome Mox. And can I get an LED? Metal's good. Another Chrome Mox is good. Ritual's good. It's Wish Claw. Oh, we haven't. I'm forgetting we have Tendrils in our hand. Like, we, we didn't have to use Lines Eye Diamond. Um, I suppose it's possible they have Punishing Fire, so let's just kill them. Play all this stuff out. Play this stuff. Let's take a peek. Alright, they're off it. Whew. Good thing we won the die roll. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, we need might. Surgical seems good, but... Sphere is rough, man. Normally we could, like, maybe go around it or something, but they're lands. They can deal with Saga. So Sphere is just terrifying here. Absolutely terrifying. They're probably playing 
No, probably not. I was going to say Collector of, but probably not. They might be playing some number of Trap, but if you're playing Sphere, well, maybe you aren't. Surgical is like just generally pretty decent. I don't think this card is going to be great. Force of Vigor is obnoxious. Let's go like this. Uh, okay. Oh, you can keep this. They mold. You kept on six. I am scared. Needle. Interesting. It's not a sphere. Needle on Wishclaw. I mean, it is good. Thoughtsies is also pretty good. Let's go Chromox. Imprint. Play Bobble. Galaxy. Mox Diamond. Not a very good draw for them. Thought sees you. Okay, so they had it. The Seiju is a bitch. We imprinted our surgical, so Loam is going to be obnoxious. Ooh, Loam plus the Seiju. Okay. I'm going to make him use it. And we're going to hope we draw Infernal Tutor. Ugh. More Wicklaw. Might as well play Mox Time and get rid of Yavamaya. Oh, that's happening. Are you letting me untap with this? No. Um. Okay. Oh, they're just hoarding. Interesting. All right, Infernal Tutor, let's go. Okay. Play the city. We know their hand. Draw surgical. Interesting. Very interesting. Um. Hmm. It was definitely obvious what we drew. Like, do I want to save it for Loam or just hit Sphere? Because it's game over if they hit Sphere, whereas Loam is not the end of the world. I'm going to go for Sphere. They drew Saga. We do have a couple Bolts. It's kind of weird. Three Force of Vigor. Blast Zone, Shadow Spear. A couple Sylvan Library. Yeah, so the big thing is Sphere. Sphere, Force of Vigor. Of course, they have the needle in the opener. Okay. Now they play Saga. We besage you. Get our swamp. And Haywire Might and Infernal Tutor are both very good draws. Let's play these out. <laughs> yep, you got me. Play them out. We're still live to a number of draws. Mostly Infernal Tutor and Haywire Might. Bobbles and redraw. Oh, and just Adnaz itself. Bobble you. Wasteland. At this point, Wasteland's kind of whatever. Yep, they make a dude. Adnaz? Nope. They did not make another dude. They're going to equip. Okay. Play Wasteland. Attack. We go down to 13. Come on, baby. It's fine. Hey, That is a fantastic draw. I think that draw is actually better than Infernal Tutor. Let's make green. The needle. Gain two life on the way out. They're at 25. 2, 4, 6. Still have two LEDs. Yeah, I'll go for the total mana. I was considering not getting Lion's Eye Diamond. Actually, we can just leave the Wish Claw, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think that's better, and just leave the Lion's Eye Diamond in my deck. Yeah. That was a good start. Tendrils, e. Okay. I think we have a land drop, too. Well, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. All right, you're out of there. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we're 4-0 seeing the final match for the trophy! Okay, final round against Get Dunked. And it looks like we lost the die roll. Is that true? We did, by one. We were totally medium with our roll. We rolled a three. And they bested us with a four. It was close. Okay. We have one of those classic Saga Redraw explosive mana hands. And I think I'm going to keep it. There's a lot of fair Bowmaster bullshit running around. And that looks like blue. Hopefully not Doomsday. We're not really all that prepared for that. That was a good draw. Let's use our bobble now. So that we don't get Bowmastered. Underground C. Okay. We figured as much. Let's play Saga and Pass. 
We are in the market for some discard. Wow. Very much so in the market for some discard. Okay, Wasteland, I'm not as worried about that now that we've drawn Infernal Tutor and another Lion's Eye Diamond. Let's get some discard, please. Okay, redraw. Do we vault to keep them using Wastelands if they have them? I think so. I think getting Wastelanded favors us. Ooh, that's a thought seize. Shit. They might fetch. Three, six. I mean, I just gotta let them have it. It's always the chance we just draw into another tutor anyways. Immediately. Just immediately. So now what? They take LED. Doesn't really matter. But still very similar spot. Still have one, two, three, six, seven, eight. Still have protected lethal if we draw a discard spell. We have ten of them. Please, deck. I'm not mad at you, deck. You drew another tutor. You done good. But I need you here. I need you. At least the wish claw. That was not cool. It's not what we talked about. God, it would be a damn shame if all they had was a daze. I think at this point I'm supposed to play Lines of Diamond. They could be Esper. Just don't want to walk into Prismatic Ending. Two, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to play it out. I mean, maybe I should have held it for Storm purposes. We're definitely closing in on a uh, an actual lethal sequence instead of Ad Nauseum, but... That's all right. Rainstorm is pretty scary. Oh, okay. Come on. I'm copying this one. Bubble, bubble. You can bowmaster me. Oh well. No bowmaster. Obey bowmaster. Rainstorm. Uh, is this an Uro? If they get a collector of right now. I'm going to stab... Oh. Well, it fucks with my bobble. It's annoying. Good thing I didn't use both. It's a wish claw. Well, let's play it out. And you do not want to target them, because then Leave will, will trigger. Now, usually, Bug is up to something. They're up to no good over there. They're going to be blowing something up or some shit. They always got something to say about every goddamn zone. Can you just give me somewhere to go? We are terrified of Green Sun Zenith for Collect Roof. They have it in the main deck. Petty Theft is annoying, but I've had worse. Get hit for three. I mean, we're 16 cards in, and we haven't... Oh my goodness, we drew a discard spell! Alright, we have 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have enough to discard into lethal. I mean, it's... Ugh. It's a reasonable chance they have... Like, that we have to double discard. Do we really want to be copying, though? I don't think so. I think we're supposed to just hope that they don't. They do not. Because I do not care about Stifle. Uh, uh, yeah. See you later. I will pedal. Dark Ritual. Three, six, seven, eight. We can't imprint with this. We can't use the Wish Clock because of Stifle. We can use it, but it's not. It would be ill advised. So just play that one out there. And we can't just, like, try and natty tendies them because, again, of Stifle. So from 17, we got to find Lethal and another discard spell. I believe we have a land drop. City is very good. Oh yeah, I mean, three, four, five, nine cards, ten cards. Didn't lose any life. All right, some discard spells, some mana, discard. Just got to find a Tuta. There's a Tuta. Okay, Chromox, Duress, Burning Wish, Petal, Chromox, Petal, Opal, Chromox, Lion's Eye Diamond, do not need to repeat, play that one, play this one, two Dark Rituals, Imprint, play, Trigger, 
imprints, ritual, ritual, pedal, pedal. Okay, I'm not going to forget, okay? It's not going to happen. All right, I'm targeting. Draw your CAD. Draw your CAD. All right, no more castables for you. And you're dead. Space City. Play Burning Wife. And they are going to wind up drawing a lot of cards. So let's ramp it up. Rampy Pampy. 420. Two. We do have enough to go for it again afterwards. It's not going to happen. All right, they would be drawing 20 cards. We should have stormed enough so that, well, it's a May. Never mind. It'd be funny if you could deck someone by storming off so much that they had that many draw triggers pop off. Okay. So we're playing against Bug Scam. This deck is a bitch. It's always a grind. So we want map. That's about it. I mean, you could play Sphere. I play a lot of blockers. But their blockers tend to have death touch as well. So it only helps so much. And you just want to keep the value going. We do need pushes, I think, because of collect roof and easy access to it. Mast fam, thanks for the YouTube sub. Much appreciated. Um Yeah, and now that there's bowmasters, it doesn't feel as bad. So we have a lot more targets. Surgical is interesting. Probably not good enough. Let's trim some of this, some of that. One more of these. I will say one thing that's actually kind of concerning is that now that they're running like a reanimate package, when you kill Collect Roof, it's not like, okay, Collect Roof is gone. It can come back. Sand has no value, which is unfortunate because this matchup is all about value and now we're down a card. Okay. This hand is fast. Which could pan out. Burning Wish is interesting. But I think I bottom it. No turn one thought sees. I like that. I also like Wishclaw. I'm going to play Vault. I hope we don't get hemmed. God, I feel like we're going to get collector roofed. Days. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep my cards in my hand. They can blow them up on board. Wow. It's actually a pretty good draw. Don't waste me, bro. Don't waste me, bro. Wow. Not wasting me. Huh. So, I think we have enough to do some stuff here. We go 5, 8, 11. That means 8, 11. We know they have days, though. So, it's 8 mana to Adnaz of a Wishclaw. We have a total of 3, 4, 5, plus 6 is 11, right? That leaves us 3 outside of mana tied up in ad nauseum, meaning we can IT for a discard spell. However, we have just enough mana to do that, meaning we're walking into days, the one card that we know about anyways. So going for it, would be a better play than that. If we had one more mana, we could play around days. We have one additional mana if we're choosing to... Nope, it's right here. Never mind. I've got everything I want to do, I need one more mana for. We just play Wishclaw and pass. Two, five... I guess it kind of plays around days, because when we cast... Hmm. When we cast our discard... Oh no, because if we see... Oh, this is rough. I'm, I'm just going to play Wishclaw. If we play everything, 5, 2... In order to get Hellbent, I'll have to use one of the Lion's Eye Diamonds, and then I go and discard them. We see the Days, we have to take the Days. If we see a Force of Will, well, we'll actually take Force of Will, but then we have to just stare at the Days. This, I we saw coming a mile away. I mean, they didn't Wasteland, for Christ's sakes. But I, I don't really care about that too much. Yep. That I do care about. So we do need a black source here. Oh, they missed a land drop. And we hit our black source. 
so we're gonna go ahead and cast Dark Ritual. I'm probably gonna counter it, honestly. Spell pierce it. Um then they're gonna daze it. Okay, then we're gonna add Nas. You got it. And if they also have a force, then you got it. I'll go to game three then. This is definitely our best spot. We're in. Hell yeah, we're in just double LED. Oh man. Oh man. Sometimes there's a league that is just for you. You know? Sometimes there's just a league that's waiting for you. And this is the one. Yes, indeed it is. What you got over there? Ooh, a stifle! Nice stifle! <laughs> well, just kind of breezed on through that one, huh? Damn. So, back to the old list. We played against... So what were the matchups? We played against Delver, Grixis Delver. Then we played against uh, Shadow. Then we played against... Um, like, Esper bullshit, right? Then we played against Lands. And then we just played against some more Esper bullshit. Or was it? Or no, 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 no. I'm sorry. We just played against Bug. So... Four out of those five, we played like every flavor fair tempo deck that's running around with Bowmaster right now. And as you can see, for the most part, we just don't care. We just don't care about Bowmaster. It's tying up our opponent's mana. It's making it so they're playing fewer like aggressive one drops. We don't really draw that many cards. Um, Saga beats it up quite a bit for the most part. And I think people are putting a lot of stock into that card, like in terms of their openers, as they should. Um, but as a result, hands on average against us are looking a lot worse. People are keeping stuff that is they normally wouldn't keep on the strength of Bowmaster, which is good. I think this deck is thriving. I think it's even better than it was pre-Bowmaster. And uh, we've been having a lot of success with it before then. When I say pre-Bowmaster, I mean... When I was in Baltimore, Bowmaster was there, but not everyone had it. It wasn't as prominent, um, although when I saw it there a few times, I didn't really care about it then. So, that's cool. That's a good place to be. I'm happy with the list. I think Chromox showed itself as very powerful a handful of times. It allows us to double discard a couple of games. It allows us to throw out a turn one saga that became active alongside discard. Just... And I think this league also exemplified um, what you're gaining by playing mono black over something like the Fetchland ver version. You just you don't have those hands where you go turn one saga, splat a bunch of artifacts and discard, you know, and a wish claw. It's just not as explosive in that way. There are pros to running fetches, and you know we'll talk about that more as we test that more, but. Um, this is a very tried and true list. And so the sideboard, the Shadow Spear map plan, also we had an opportunity to showcase map a couple of times. I hope it kind of showed why this card is important. Um, when you're in a spot where Saga is very good and you just want another Saga, this is the card. And you wind up in that spot fairly often. Uh, not to mention the fact that it puts it into your hand, so you can set it up where you have an Infernal Tutor. I don't know if you noticed, but this card tends to stick around in your hand. Because you're either, you hold on to it until you kill them, or you're copying something. And you can always hold on to it, activate your map, put this in your hand, copy it, get another one. So, if you've played the deck, you know just how, how consistently we can present two, three, four sagas, you know, and not by any coincidence, not just because we drew them. Usually all it takes is, oh, I drew one, I'll copy it, I'll play one, I'll copy it, I'll play one, that sort of thing. We didn't play against any prison, so we didn't get to use search node. Uh, surgical came up a little bit, but, you know, no matchup where it's truly for it. Um, 
Echo, there were a couple times where it was in consideration. So, I don't know. It feels good. It feels smooth. It feels really powerful. And uh, I think it's going to continue to have pretty wild success. I think it'll continue to increase in popularity because uh, the learning curve is not as as steep as or sharp or whatever, however you want to put it as the other storm decks, um, just like any storm deck, you know, going from good to mastering is a whole nother story, but just as like an introductory, um, or when you're just starting out, you're still going to have a lot of success, um, with this as a storm deck, as opposed to a number of the other storm decks. So I would highly recommend it for a beginner storm deck. And I think it's, I, I don't have to tell someone that for them to know that, right? Just upon first glance, if you're glancing through Storm decks, this one is going to pop out at you because you have a lot of discard to work with, so that always feels safe, right? You have a lot of agency over what's going on in the game, um, which if you're not used to playing Storm, that is something that you're used to, so that will be familiar, being able to actually control the game in some, some way. Uh, getting all the perfect information... Right, not only from discard but also from bobble. So oftentimes you have perfect information over the course of uh, X amount of turns, uh, and then of course just having access to sagas <laughs> is a whole nother thing. Fucking sweet. We want a lot of games with these things. People ask me what do you usually win with, and uh, it's close to fifty-fifty. You probably combo them out a little bit more, but it is damn close. But that's all I got for this one. Hope you had fun watching it. I had a blast playing this league. We cruised right through it. Uh, just beat some people up. So, <laughs> see you in the next one. Slow but steady. Apparently I'm still playing casual legacy. What if I log out and reconnect? Ninjas? Okay. They only have three cards. They're probably gonna recoup or no, they're just making a four four. You getting in with ninjas or are you making a four four? They're making a four four, okay. Respectable. Oh, come on, bro. Yep. Hit me with the LED. Okay. A reasonable chance here. I will trade if they offer it. I might be able to kill it, but we're not just dead if that's the case. I'm going to swing out. We'll trade. Draw one card, we go to 12. Nice, so no force. It's a weird draw. No force, and there's no more Bowmaster. Can we just peer? So we have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can, but we can't. And we can do it around days too, so yeah, they're just dead. Okie doke. Oh no, because we drew tendrils. Of all the draws!
Um, I mean, still getting LEDs. We got to add Nas. Oh, we can't even do that because we have the Burning Wish as well. So we have to Echo. It's a good thing I have Echo. Unless we can set up a, an actual natural kill, which we'd have to... We'd have to get Dark Ritual. Copy it. Oh, this is convoluted. So they're at 18. 2, 4, 5... Go up to six. Three, four, five, six, two. We're gonna wind up one short. Oh, uh, we don't have grape shot. Okay, can we do it just with the burning wish? We got no storm. We'd have to get to nine. That's too much. Can tendrils now try to kill him next turn? Two, three, four, five. I think we just have to echo. We'll just leave wish claw on the board. Could use this wish claw to get a ton of mana. We can go get LED, copy the LED with Infernal Tutor. Then we'd have three LEDs, six mana post echo. Is a lot of mana. We're gonna just go get a, one more mana with this. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this one on the board. So let's go whatever. Get LED. Blue. Spin it. I think this is actually better than it looks. So we have Cabal Therapy into Lethal. So we name Force of Will. Yeah, we can pay for one day's. Lose the double days. They had Force of Will. Now they don't. <laughs> now they're dead. Clean, yeah, I mean, it's dicey. There were a lot of traps, we'll call them. Simply because we drew tendrils. On the exact turn, we needed to not draw tendrils. But it's okay. We made it work. Goodbye. Ninjas. Do I care enough to play Fatal Push? Bowmaster's annoying, but not the end of the world. I do think I'm supposed to play Shadow Spear. I think map is probably a bit too deep. They do sometimes play Wasteland, but usually they don't. And if they do, it's in low numbers. They might have like an oppo agent, <laughs> but that's fine. Okay, I'll take this. One LED or Dark Ritual away from a protected turn one. Okay. That lets us bobble. The fuck, dude? Okay. So we're dead. That one is gonna be a problem. So we have to hope they're, they're on a one lander. You know what I mean? They might be. No land, no land, no land, no land, no land. Ponder. Ugh. There's no way they don't play it, right? Yeah. Moffat. Oh! Okay. Uh, let's run it back. Getting the old one ring splash damage hate. Awkward. Uh, yeah. Yep, even scarier than Stony Silence, because at least Stony Silence, we we have a very slim, but a answer to, whereas No Rod, we don't, we don't have an answer. There's no way I'm just holding, there's no way I'm just sitting on this bobble, so I'm going to bobble pre-duress. I saw No Rod again, I was going to lose it. So they got their black source. Nope, we gotta discard it, or we're gonna make constructs, or we gotta go under it. On top of the fact that it's usually a one of, so it's one of those things that's not worth answering. 
I mean, one of the things that you can answer by going a fetch land mana base, one of the benefits, they did not shuffle. Voidwalk. Okay. Don't care about that one. So they kept on a ponder, they took an unknown card, they had two unknown cards, they didn't shuffle. Days beat just in. Okay. And they're off it. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, City, I love you. Alright, we'll search. This hand needs way too much help. I know it's tendrils and no land. No thanks. This is also pretty bad. I know it's burning wish. Time is at 3 p.m. Could bottom ad nauseous, then we're pretty close to an ad nauseous. I don't like it. Oh wow. We could play some more Pearl, Pearl Storm today. Probably won't have time though. Glimmer post. Okay, so we might have time to do our thing here. Another cabal therapy. I mean, do we think they have crop rot and they're just on the uh, yield to end step? And what two mana play are they going to make? They're not. They're going to play a tap land. Elvish Reclaimer, they would have played. They could have Green Sun Zenith. Expedition map they would have played. I still think they have a crop rotation. They don't. They do have a green sun zenith. Got the one ring. You didn't see Pearl Storm? Dude. Be 3 2 with it. Oh, yeah. We weren't playing this. I included this so that we could have an infinite draw with Oriok, although. To be fair, that would be a lot of clicking to draw your deck with this. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. Alright, Glimmer is in. Needle is in. It's gonna name Wishclaw, guaranteed. Dark Ritual was good. One mana shy now. Take Rex Sage or take the Ring? I think we take the Ring. The one and only. Except for the other three. Of a peer. Do you see the peer line, chat? Do you see it? Anyone? Anyone see it? I'll show ya. I will show ya as you don't, huh? Well. <laughs> Ooh. 
We got some. We gotta remember about this needle, though. Are we gonna have to add those? Oh, they're off it. <laughs> there was no Infernal Tutor. We would have had to have add... Oh, no, no, no. There's one right here. Derp. We got him. Okay. Excuse me. So I guess I want Haywire Might. We need Fatal Pushes. They have... They're usually packing 4 Trap, 4 Force of Vigor. They used to play Endurance, which doesn't matter, but now they're playing Leyline, which doesn't matter, generally speaking. And then they bring in Oof, if they didn't already have it. Might is for Needle. Do I need 3 push? Yeah, it hits Reclaimer too, so it's actually just really good. In fact, I might even want to just roll up on them. We only need so many discard spells, we can trim there. Just want to be able to hit trap. And then... Mitigate Force of Vigor bullshit. Two, four, seven... One shy of a turn one. Dark Ritual means turn one protected. Provided they don't needle us. Mox was medium. They're F6. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Come on, Where my LEDs and pedals at. There's a pedal. No dark ritual, no LED. There's an LED. Infernal tutor. Tendrils now kills us. We can play some stuff out. And push reclaimer. There's a wish claw. Can we even kill them next turn if we... Ten. We'll be able to peer, but we don't have a ton of cards left in our deck. I don't think I'm supposed to keep going. Getting a lot of bobble draws. The best play is probably to get Force of Vigor with this Wish Claw. But then they give it to us. Then we can use it. I don't think Reclaimer really does anything for them. So maybe I'm supposed to duress. But they were F6 and they haven't done anything. So I don't think I even need to. There's no harm in using Bobble Zenith. post. Yeah, I'm gonna run this out. And I'm gonna pass. Alright, I want City, IT, Burning Wish, Push, Wish Claw, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Guess I should have a discard spell. Alright, Basic Swamp. So now we can kill Oof if they have it in their hand. Probably just attack with this, right? Passing. The question is, do they attack or do they hold up? Yeah. I'd be attacking as well. There's really not much you can get with this. Bog doesn't do anything. Glacial Chasm doesn't do anything to Tendrils. They're gonna use it. Interesting. 
Probably for Force of Vigor. And then they hit that plus LED. And we can just go get another LED. Or they get trapped and hope it's enough. Land, land, LED is good. It's duress. Oh. So now we should push the reclaimer. Vale of summer, huh? Saga. Mm. Not gonna play out LED. Discard a swamp. Four eight. Guess I could have played a wish claw and blown a petal. Okay. We have one duress, one thought seize, all of our dark rituals, tendrils, another reclaimer. What are the thought seize? Take your zenith. Food is on the way. Um, three. Oh, we can. Two, three, one, two, three, two, four, six. We can cast all three of these so I can play Wish Claw, copy LED, play. Okay. So we go City. Play Wishclaw. Do I still have one LED? One, two, three accounted for. Yep. Copy LED. Play out the LEDs. Two, six, we can tendrils. Two, five, six, seven. Then we'll have life to use. Ancient tomb. We can double tendrils. Black. Black. Tendies, hit him with the tendies, gain some life. I mean, we have enough even if we don't tap this for two life, but a nice little touch. Get him with the dub skis. Bit of a puzzle. Why is that? Oh, it's coming off at my laptop. I have Streamlabs open on my laptop. That's hilarious. I'm like, why is that coming from a different sound? Arkin with the raid! Thanks, dude. Welcome, everyone, from Arkin's stream. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, this is game one. We are 2-0, despite what the casual legacy uh, practice room is telling you. 
Um, I do think we want to open with Thoughtseize. These tend to not be Wasteland decks. It's possible, though. Could get punished if we wind up drawing an Opal. But it'll probably just make us not able to... Well, yeah, whatever. I'm going to play Vault. I fucking hate these cards. Like, don't put a different name up top. Don't do it. <laughs> it infuriates me, like, more than almost anything in this entire fucking game. Um... This is a pretty good hand. Holy shit. Awesome. I'm play Blue Black Shaft for Georgia. It's a nice Friday. Hope your stream goes. Thanks, man. I guess we take Shouldred and deal with Bowmaster. Yeah, I don't care too much about Bowmaster. Play out my LED. Pass. We're going to get this Saga down. Yeah, they would have had to turn one Shouldred. Chromox, Swamp, Imprint, Ritual, Hold Up Bowmaster, sure. As expected, ooh, it's close, very close. Let's go Saga Pass. Saga, please. So we just got to dodge an Oppo Agent. Don't really care about Bowmasters. Just please don't draw Tendrils. That's all I ask. Uh, that's... Wait. They didn't play Bowmaster. Huh. I guess they F6 threw it by accident? That's pretty big. So now they take Tutor, and if we draw any red source, we can peer. Right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, it's not true. Still one shy. But we'll be able to do a big echo, which... Or no, we won't. Fucking ley line. Um... I mean, hopefully they just take Burning Wish but they're not gonna. I mean, we still just have a pretty nice uh, construct situation going on, provided we don't get helmed. Balance Tomb, get the fuck out of here. Tony, previous matter, your Tony specials decks has been presented a lot, but now I don't see some of this because Bono has them bit. People need to take breaks and play more paper events. Uh, this deck does not care about Bowmaster. They took Burning Wish, wow. I played against, I trophied last night, it's going to be on YouTube tomorrow, and four out of five were Tempo Bowmaster strategies. There was uh, Grixis Delver, Bug Scam, Esper Bowmaster Tempo Bullshit, and Blue Black Shadow with Bowmaster. Beat them all. That'll be out tomorrow. I almost put it out last night, but it was way too late. Just like, fuck it. Like, Adnaz doesn't draw cards. This deck doesn't really draw cards. Doesn't cast Brainstorm. Uh, we draw from Bobbles sometimes, you know. Plus, Saga is still just pretty good. Uh, 2, 4, 7, yeah. So we have an Adnaz. Let's go for it. But honestly, we we're probably winning on the ground as well. But I still think it's worth going for this, because they could draw Helm. Or... Um, Oppo agent. We should be at what? 17. We should be at 15 because they should have cast Bowmaster. Doesn't look like it would have mattered. Nope. We already have lethal, so you're dead. You are dead, OP. That's good enough. Let me look. Okay. They usually scoop? I wouldn't. We just, at last match, we, what, Adnaz from, it was a high life toll. It may, may have even been 20, and we just hit a really bad Adnaz. We had to pass. We wound up winning. It took another two or three turns, but I guess, yeah, even if you're in a situ it depends on the situation. But some people just don't want to pass, and they just go for it and kill themselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it happens. Um, I forgot what, oh, Helm. This deck is uh, is tough. It really is. I think we have to come down on discard. And then we can try to win on the ground, too. They play one chalice. I would imagine sometimes more. I'm sure some people play more chalice, right? But I'll just play Haywire Might. I think Surge Node is probably a step too far. 
Let's try this. Yeah, it happens. And then sometimes you nause from six and kill them. <laughs> I was one man away from ad nausing from four and killing my Delver opponent in uh, Baltimore. It was game two. It was up a game. Wound up winning, of course, but in game three, but it was so close. I needed to draw one more mana. It could have been a land. Obviously not Ancient Tomb, but... And I flipped not that. Two, four, five mana. Sand is awkward. It's not exactly what I want in this matchup. Hope Breacher up here. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, cute. LED gets there. Dark Ritual gets there. Ancient Tomb gets there. 2, 4, 5. Because that would be 7 mana. And then Infernal Tutor would make it 8. They mold and then put a card into play that I don't care about. Land, go. Alright. We drew it. Probably had like 12 draws that gave us a turn 1 here. I think it's actually just the turn one kill. As we go Ritual, Ritual, we play Wishclaw, we go get Lion's Eye Diamond, and we can copy LED is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Goodbye. That works. Three and oh. Imalia. Sure. It's slow, but double accelerated saga hand with a discard spell. I did get too much food, but with the uh, intention of chucking it in my fridge. How in the fuck am I supposed to eat this? I got too much, too, too many contents. For this taco. Can't like actually fold it. We just get one bite. Just want one bite. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we're up against. Fourth Earlingus. Alright, I'm dressing. Need to be able to hit their blood moon. Oh. What is this? Stop with the different names. It's cavernous souls. It's not paths of the dead. Fuck. So they have a turn to... How afraid of fourth year lingus are we? Could discard it down, down the line as well. I think we have year lingus beat. I think we have to slow him down. This claw is not bad at all. That was a good draw. That was not a good draw. That was a good draw. Oh, oh, oh that was a horrendous noise. Wow. That hurt my soul. Oh, we just have an ad nose, sorry. Oops, you're dead. Oops, he died. Oopsies. Oh, whoops. He died. Alright, alright. They've had enough. I can assure you the opponent has had enough. Please stop, he's already dead. That's easier just in case. Archon, nice Archon. Nice. Way to play your cavern. And they have another card. Yeah, it was City. Right. Chose wrong. Yeah, they already had red for caves, so they should have chosen Archon. And they could have played it. Oh, 
<laughs> in reality, they're eating tacos. <laughs> um, all right, we're on that double search node. Just them, we get them nodes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shadow spear might map might be too deep against them. We got archon, so we need these. Actually, that makes me want map. Excuse me. Coming down way off of discard. We got a couple of different kinds of tacos, so it's kind of a mystery which one I'm grabbing. This is the uh, potato chipotle sauce. Too many contents, though. I can't. One does not simply eat a taco. This hand. I don't think it's good enough. It's locked out by Chalice. Only has one land drop. I think I want the Shadow Spear. I think I'm, I'm just going to wind up getting Chaliced. <laughs> yes. They used three cards to play an Archon, and they didn't play Chalice. It's actually not bad for us, so... So we can go Vault, get Opal out there. Now hopefully they don't do anything for a turn, or maybe even two. Fuck yes. Yeah, they're screwed. Oh yeah. Sorry, OP. You're done. <clears throat> but I had to turn one Archon. How could I lose? Sorry. I'm not sorry. What's the thing about a burrito is that you don't have to... Well, the thing about tacos is they're way too hard, you know, hard tacos. You, you fucking bite into it and it just spills everywhere. You may as well have gotten nachos. So you get the soft taco, right? Now you get a soft taco. When really, <clears throat> soft taco is just a burrito with more work. So you should have just gotten a burrito. A couple. Of, well, I did get one burrito. Well... That's a good one. That's what we call probably best draw on the deck. These are some constructs. Holy shit. Yeah. Taco theory is such that you should just be eating burritos. Burritos are really ahead of our time, really, is what it comes down to. It's an advanced food, for sure. You can put anything in a burrito, dude. Anything. How long before we're only eating burritos? Nice turn one Archon, here's some 8-8s. Eight By the way, this one's a 9-9, nine nine and it tramples, and it has lifelink. Even Fury isn't going to save him. I guess multiple Solitudes would be good, but we can get map. <clears throat> can also just get Haywire Might and blow up their Chrome Mox. Still think map is correct. I think I'm done with this hand. I think. Well. No, maybe not. I was gonna say I could use it. Well, okay, I can use it to play Saga and equip Shadow Spear. Yeah. I know it gets smaller, but. Solitude. Right, the 
burrito. I'm gonna save. Be good later on. Fable's not bad. Probably still not good enough. You only have one card. Swamp. That's not bad. <clears throat> it does come into play tapped. Yeah, let's equip. Trying to see you're on two node, but what do you think of Pething Needle? Just hate Wasteland. I tend to see a fair amount of Emery's. Do you think one node plus one needle is fair? Yeah, it's fair. But let's say we lose the chalice, probably more than like literally anything. <clears throat> when we do lose. <laughs> oh, got him. Four no. Um, this is the last taco. If you're sitting there wondering, God damn it, when is this dude going to stop eating tacos? <laughs> uh, yes, Strass. If, if Chalice on zero is in play, so if we're on the draw, the only way that you can kill Chalice at that point is yes by Haywire Might and yes by either having it naturally in your hand or getting two Sagas to to go to chapter three. So Surge Node is a colorless way to get you out of the first first chalice. Sand is okay if you're into turn ones. If you're into that sort of thing. No, they are playing blue. But we also have a redraw. Spicy. Um, guess we're playing around Bowmaster these days, huh? <clears throat> Cauldra. Okay. A little Stoneforge, huh? God damn it. All the contents are falling out. It's a taco tragedy. looking for discard we've got plenty of mana we have this infernal tutor so they could be on esper we could get discarded but i doubt it there's a force of negation there's a thought seize Holding up Force of Negation. There's a Wish Claw. Counter it. This Spell Pierce is an issue here. Really? So we have one, two, three, four, seven. Don't have enough to discard them more. We could play our hand, use Dark Ritual. No, could just go for it. <clears throat> Six, five. We're one shy of a natural attendees line with discard. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, we got it. Okay, so let's. Take force. Can even see one card on top. Spell Pierce.
That's not going to help them. Two, two, four, yeah. So if they counter this, they die. <coughs> if they don't, they die. Storm is currently a niner. Got him. Okay. Blue white. We saw spell pierce, force of negation on the main. So they've got a lot of interaction. Surgical is interesting. Pretty good against Snappy. Uh, there's no reason not to. They can't like force plus days. That would leave them at one. Because we can pay for days. Or yeah, force plus force as well. <clears throat> or no, even yeah. Then the storm is just too high. Um I think I actually want some amount of surgical. I want map. Might is actually good against Cauldra, but that's like it. At the same time, Saga tokens are really bad against Cauldra. Maybe I just don't want to grind. Yeah, I think I just want to go plan A. Full stop. I guess they could have Deafening Silence. Yeah, Haywire Might's defensible. Prismatic Ending. Trim and Chrome Mox. I'm really tempted with Surgical, but... It's kind of a dicey plan. <clears throat> uh, ugh. They mulligan? Sure. I don't like this hand. I don't mind Wishclaw. If we can find even one land, this hand is going to be a lot better. Snapcaster. Stoneforge is going to be a bitch. One saga. Melt me down. Okay. There it is. Now we can take the cauldra. Now you're in trouble. Right. Still gonna, <clears throat> still gonna bobble here. Snap meltdown if they draw land. Yeah, sure. Probably kill them before that though. Maybe not. I mean, they can't really afford to do it. Just to hit Wishclaw. Yeah, they might have to. But damned if you do, damned if you don't. Come on, discard. Where are you at? This is a tough spot now. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I making constructs? Three, four, five, six. Wow, deck is gonna bail me out though. Like I, I need to be adnosing right now. I don't know why adnos was just off the table for me. I mean, they could have something. They have one unknown card, right? But you absolutely should be going for it here. Jesus, talking about a noob. All right, let's get these out there. Uh, oh, they're going to take it. So now they're at 12. 3, 4, 5. No, we can't produce loot. Well, 6, 5. Can't burning wish tendrils. 3, 4, 5. And we can only deal 10 with this tendrils. So we're going to add those. They, they have to have some sort of permission already in hand. I... I guess. We're getting melted down next turn. Yeah, I, I suppose I should. Um, 
What do you got? You got nothing. Still have metal craft. There we go. Suppose they could feasibly have bolt. Do we have enough to discard them and then kill them? Um, we have a land drop. Yes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, eight. Yeah. What is it? It's a surgical. Wow. And they didn't hit LED. I should have thought of that. We should have been playing LED immediately. Um, do we not have? Oh, we don't have a land drop. We're still okay. Wow, 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 wow. You have a tendrils in the yard. I'd use very much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not even going to discard because it's just going to waste time. That was a challenging league, for sure. What do we? I think we only dropped one game, right? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs>